Hello YouTube and welcome to your 12th Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express tutorial and in this tutorial I will be teaching you the do until loop. Um, I just kinda guessed that it was the 12th so if it's not um, just go ahead and look at the title it'll tell you. So uh, in this tutorial I will be teaching you the do until loop and so just go ahead and open the project that we've been using in the last couple tutorials and if you don't know what that is then go back and watch those and um, go ahead and add a button to it put the text to do until loop and change the name to button do until right over here so uh, I just did that ahead of time to save time so the tutorial won't be really long but uh, you can see we got our for loop for each loop which shows all of the um, files inside of our main C drive and then do until loop which doesn't do anything yet and uh, now let's start writing the code. So here's the method for that handles this button click. So when the person clicks this button, it will do this code. So to start off, we are going to declare a couple of variables that we will use in our loop. So we will declare object random as new random. So dim object random as new random and then we'll declare int random number as new int or <laughs> integer sorry if I get uh, these confused I've been working with C++ for a while now taking a break from net so I might get a couple things confused do it like C++ and um, come down here and clear the list we always want to do that with our loops because we have this clear list method which just takes everything out of this box so we can start over and see what our loop is actually doing come down below clear list and we will start our do until loop so we'll start off with do until and then we'll set do until int random number is equal to 10. Then we'll come down below here. And uh, now what we want to do is get a random number between 0 and 24. So we'll set int random number is equal to object random dot next and we want it between 0 and 25 so now we're going to add that number to our list so we'll do list data dot items dot add int random number dot to string okay so we'll go ahead and run this and then I'll come back and explain the code. Hold on, we got a little problem here. Okay, that should fix it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now when we run this, when we click on do until loop, okay, it looks like we have a little problem. Um, list data dot items dot add. Let's see. All right, looks like we got a little problem here. Um, ah, there we go. Let's go ahead and copy this and paste it down here. And I'll just go ahead and get rid of this method and run it and see what happens. Okay, you can see when we click do until loop. It generates um, random numbers and adds those to the, to the list data box. 
until it reaches until it generates a random number that is equal to 10 and you can do that and you can see we get a lot of random numbers in this one and um, when you type a number in right there it will that number it is impossible for that number to pop up it's it can be 0 to 24 it can't be 25 so you can see it's working fine right there you got it on the first time that that tries so go over the code one more time then you guys can go practice this yourself and uh, go on to the next tutorial when you're ready so we start off by declaring object random as a new random and then we declared int random number as an integer and set it equal to zero then we went ahead and cleared this list so that we can start over fresh with our new loop and then we start off our, our do until loop do until int random number is equal to 10. So once the once int random number, once this integer is equal to 10, then stop the loop. So then we set int random number equals we set it equal to object random not next, which just sets it equal to a new random number each time the loop goes through between between 0 and 25. And then we went ahead and added that to our list data. So list data dot items dot add in random number and then we went ahead and converted it to a string because that's always good to do when you're um, outputting any value other than a string to the screen. And then down here it says loop which just sends it back up to the top of the do until loop and it'll go through it until int random number is equal to 10. So go ahead practice this code by yourself maybe make a couple different apps that do different things but um, remember to save this because we're going to be using this box for future tutorials this project um, so go ahead comment like and subscribe and um, thanks for watching